Welcome to the Waters and Stanton Ham Radio Channel, presented by Peter Waters. Hello once again, and thank you for joining me on the Waters and Stanton Video Channel. As I shoot this video, we're on our way up to Christmas, beginning of December. And I thought I'd just cover one or two things that may be of interest to you as we approach Christmas, and indeed while Christmas is upon us. Uh, I know that uh, a lot of you will uh, be out with families and so forth, but also um, you will have some time, I guess, to devote to amateur radio, um, particularly those that um, haven't got such a large family or perhaps haven't got a family that's coming around at all. So, first of all, let's talk about the run-up to Christmas because there's quite a few interesting products that uh, may appeal to you. Now, one of the problems we have at Christmas is supplies. We can get supplies... Uh, through into December, but as soon as we approach Christmas, or indeed we run out of uh, stock, then there is quite a gap. It really means to say that we're not going to get any more deliveries until January. That's the way uh, it works these days. A lot of the delivery firms and the importers close down um, just before Christmas and don't open again until January. So, uh, try as we may, we can't get new supplies. So, if you're looking for something, do bear that in mind that we can't guarantee that we will have uh, good stocks as we approach Christmas. So what have we got that uh, might uh, be interesting to take a look at? Well, I think we've got a number of uh, products now, you know, that um, seem to have all come once, really. I mean, we've got the regular Yesu cashback that uh, is now upon us. And that runs through until the end of the year, 31st of December. And it means to say that you can save yourself about £85 on some of their HF transceivers and around about £45 on some of the other VHF, UHF rigs. And if you go onto our website, you will see the current um, prices or the current radios that, that we've got a cashback offer on. And you can, do, you can do the calculation yourself. It shows you what the saving is. And so you can deduct £85 for that. It does mean to say that you'll pay the full price when you purchase the item, but if you send Yesu a copy of the receipt, together with a serial number, they will send you a cash back. But it does take um, around about two months before you get the cash back. And there is a reason for that, which I have covered before. It's because um, all buyers, that, all distance buyers anyway, have a right to send the goods back after a month. So... Um, you actually don't want to give a cash back unless they know that the person is going to keep the radio. That's the reason, otherwise it becomes rather messy. So the cash back is worth uh, looking at. There's also some very good uh, rigs around. You mustn't forget the uh, um, ICOM IC7300 Mark II. You've probably heard that the ICOM IC7300 is due in at the end of next week. Uh, a lot of excitement over that one. And of course, we, we do part exchange as well. So uh, if you're interested, um, give us a call, send us an email. Uh, I think they'll be in short supply, so uh, don't uh, hang around too long. Now, uh, the latest update on the IC7300 delivery is that it should be coming in uh, next Friday. And I put the date up on the screen so you know what date we're talking about next Friday. And it's going to go live on our website at 9 o'clock, because you know we don't take deposits because it can cause all sorts of problems. If we order, I don't know, if we order 200 units and we only get 50 or 60, and we're taking deposits on 100, it means to say we've got 40-odd customers that have paid a deposit and won't get that radio. At this point in time, we don't know how many we're going to get. We ordered a lot. Believe me, we ordered an awful lot. But if you want to uh, get one of these, um, either... Either, well, best thing to do is to go on our website at 9 o'clock and we'll, we'll release it at 9 o'clock and you can order one there and then you can either um, then come and pick it up or get us to send it to you and uh, that means to say at least you know that you're going to get one and you haven't got a deposit which you've now got to get back from some other dealer because he hasn't got enough. So, 9 o'clock on Friday, the 7300 Mark II goes live on our website. Um, we do some great part exchange deals, actually, so you might be pleasantly surprised if you've got a rig that's a few years old, then um, 
The easiest way really to get a price is to um, pick up the telephone and have a chat with us, or alternatively, you can send us an email, just tell us a bit about the radio, has it got the original box, has it got the handbook, is there any damage, uh, is it working, um, as far as you know, is it, is it perfectly working, that'll enable us to give you a price. And generally speaking, if you're honest with us about the condition of the radio, then we can give you a pretty accurate price. And then once we've got the radio, which we can collect from you, um, we will then refund you the price that we've allowed on that radio. And if all works well um, and it's the middle of the month, it probably means to say that uh, at the end of the month, when you come to pay your credit card bill, you'll only pay a net amount anyway. That's the way it works. Now, the Yasu FTX1 field and the Optima has been with us now for a few months and I've uh, had the uh, Optima for around about three months now, two or three months and so I've got a, uh, got fairly used to it now and I'll be doing a video fairly shortly on the FTX one. I'll divide it probably between the Optima and the, and the field just to let you know how I've got on with it, what I found, the things that I like about it and so forth and then my general impression of it. Um, but that, of course, is also subject to the £85 cashback, and also there's been a price reduction on that. Um, I think if you take the cashback, the FTX1 field will work out just under £1,400, about £1,390, something like that. If you go onto our website, you'll see it. And we do offer um, one or two freebies with that. So you, there's a choice of freebies, actually. We call them bundles, actually. And it's worth actually mentioning it now. Um, if you go onto our website, we've got a lot of bundle deals. And they'll be running right through um, up to Christmas, at least. And it means to say that um, when you buy the main product, you've got a choice of one or two other um, items, which are either free or discounted. Um, so take a look at that, and uh, you may find that, uh, with, for example, the Gesu with a cashback, you'll uh, be able to make further saving with uh, something. Uh, I think power supplies are available, free power supplies available on some of the HF rigs. You have to check our website. Um, we do change our website very regularly, so it's worth checking it on a weekly basis at least to see what to, what's going on there. But the bundle deals are going extremely well. And it certainly attracted a lot of attention, and it means to say, as I say, that if you're buying a new radio, you can perhaps tag something onto it, either which costs you nothing, or it'll be discounted. So don't forget that. Don't forget uh, the um, Yaso FT710 transceiver. There's two versions: the um, uh, the field and the AESS version. I've got the AESS version. The only difference is that uh, the AESS comes with um, a extension speaker, and with a bit of twiddling, you can get sort of not stereo exactly, but you can divide the uh, frequency um, response of the uh, decoded signal between the two speakers and get some sort of balance. It, it, uh, it works quite well actually. But if you don't want that, um, you can get the field, and the field hasn't got the speaker, although it's got a carrier handle. And it saves you um, a bit of money. Again, cash back on both those radios, and I think there's some freebies on those radios. So take a look at that. And of course, if you're going to do a part exchange, you may be pleasantly surprised at what the net cost is to you. So what else we've got? Well, going to the end of the range, um, if you're looking for a dual band handheld, look at the Quancheng. Uh, we've got one dual band handheld that's 1995. Would you believe? Uh, I mean, it's quite an amazing price. It's the sort of thing that um, you would buy and sort of slip in the glove box or whatever just so that you've got a radio that covers 2 metres and 70 cents. Quite an amazing price. There are other models, a bit more expensive, but take a look at the Quan Sheng. We, we, we do a lot of those and we, we, we sell a lot. Now, one of the things that does happen over Christmas is that the RSGB organise, I'm, I'm not sure what contest, exact activity sessions over Christmas. Um, they run into the new year, I, I, I think. You'll have to check the RSGB to find out the dates and that, but it covers most of the bands. And it's, the idea really is to promote a bit of activity over the holiday period. And it's a good idea to take a look and see what's coming up because, you know, it's, uh, if you're going to go on the bands, it's nice to go on the bands when there's a bit of activity, particularly on the VHF and UHF bands. So take a look at the RSGB site. Um, there's, uh, there should be a list now of all the activities that are going to take place on the run-up to Christmas and over Christmas. 
Now, uh, an item that literally has just arrived is uh, quite an interesting handheld, actually. It's called the WT2, and it comprises a UHF uh, transceiver, which has got four, uh, two watts output, covers 400 to 470 megahertz, so it covers a 77 band and PMR, etc. Uh, it's all go also got chat GPT, with 50,000 broadcast stations uh, preloaded into it. And also it's got PTT over cellular, so it's quite an interesting unit. All the details are on our website, and as I say, it's just arrived. And if you want some more information, go on to TechMind's YouTube channel, our friend Matt there. He's done an interesting review of that just a few days ago. So if you key in TechMind's and uh, WT2, you'll learn all about it. Anyway. It's in stock. An interesting item that's just come back into stock is the TX500. This is a, a military grade radio. It's super slim, it's super tough. And above all, it is weather resistant. You'll see a shot here where I actually operated it with a hose pipe turned on it, and there was no problem at all. It uh, doesn't have a built in speaker. What it does have, it has a speaker microphone. The microphone acts as a speaker and that gives plenty of volume and of course that reserves or preserves the weatherproofing of the radio so it's a great uh, a great rig for outdoor use up to 10 watts output and built in um, VSWR spectrum display now, something I haven't mentioned uh, recently is the range of VHF and UHF yarges that we do we do a range um, that are made in Europe um, They've got two names, actually. It can be a bit of confusion. We, we sometimes refer to them as dual antennas because a lot of their models are dual band, 2 metres and 70 cents, with the, um, the elements interleaved with each other with a single feed, one coax feed, uh, two bands. And they prove very popular, but they also do a range of single band antennas for um, all the VHF bands, really, 6 metres, 4 metres, 2 metres, 70 cents. We carry... Uh, quite a range of those antennas. They're beautifully made, very nicely labelled. To put them together is an absolute joy, um, and they're superbly engineered. It's the sort of thing that perhaps if you want to dabble on the VHF bands, you perhaps get a you know, four or five element uh, dual band Yagi. Have a look at their range. Um, we list, Sometimes we've listed them as dual antennas because of the dual band. Sometimes we've listed them as antenna amplifiers because their trade name is Antenna Amplifiers, I think. A bit confusing. But anyway, you'll find them on our website. And they are superbly engineered. Another range of antennas which you may want to look at is Diamond. Diamond have been going for years. We're the sole uh, distributors for Diamond in the UK. And they are really nicely engineered. Now, there are a number of copies of these antennas. Uh, the difference is the engineering and the weatherproofing. The Diamond range are superbly engineered. Um, and they're very um, much uh, uh, sort of the sort of thing that you put up in the air and forget about. Um, repeater groups tend to use, if they want an omnidirectional, vertically polarised antenna, they very often go for diamond because they know that it's going to work and work and work and it'll last for years. So take a look at the diamond antennas. Again, they're not overly expensive. And you may think, well, I, I don't know, perhaps I'll give the VHF bands a go. Perhaps I can have a natter with the local club or something. Get yourself one of these diamond verticals and put it up and see how you get. The, the, a lot of the verticals are dual band. Um, so again, you'll have the 2 metres and 70 cents. There are tri-band ones, but uh, give that a whirl. Also, by the way, um, 6 metres tends to um, be quite interesting during the uh, Christmas period. December, January, there can be a bit of a lift on 6 metres. Um, as usual, with 6 metres, you don't know when it's coming. There's no warning at all, it just happens. So um, keep an eye on six, uh, six metres. And also 10 metres. I think 10 metres are going to be quite busy um, in the uh, winter months. So again, that, that looks promising. There is a suggestion that we haven't quite reached the sunspot to maximum yet. I don't know. But anyway, um, like all these things, you don't know until it's happened and you're sort of going down the other side. The fact is that 10 metres looks to be as if it's going to be interesting over the next couple of months. So check that band as well now as regards the future we we are at, we're based at milton Keynes, as you may know and uh, we've expanded tremendous tremendously there uh, we've increased the number of sales staff so if you phone up 
um, you should be speaking to uh, somebody that's very knowledgeable and be able to help you out and give you advice. And you're more than welcome to come to the location at Milton Keynes. It's pretty easy to find. It's just off the motorway. Um, parking, there's not a problem. There's no problem at all in parking because it's actually out um, of the built-up area in sort of a country location, really. So you've got a no, no problem with parking. You'll be made very welcome. And uh, just check on our website um, the opening times, particularly over Christmas. Um, and uh, if you're thinking of coming down, perhaps give us a ring, tell us what you want, what you're looking for, and we're quite, quite happy to give you some advice or, or send us an email. But the phone, of course, is very immediate. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, 2026. Uh, um, we are the main um, UK trade sponsors for WRTC 2026, which takes place, I think it's in July. Um, and that's quite an exciting time. 50-odd stations be dotted around uh, the UK, competing with each other with virtually identical, well, identical stations in terms of the uh, the equipment they've got in terms of uh, radiating equipment, the, the antennas and the masts, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and that only takes place once every four years, and it's quite uh, exciting that uh, the UK have got it this this uh, year or next year. And uh, as I say, we are the prime supporters. So, we, you know, we put back into ham radio um, what we can and uh, try and uh, bolster it up. So uh, just bear that in mind. So that's the latest update on uh, what uh, we're doing here at Waters and Stanton. And we've got some more videos coming up, of course, before Christmas. But I thought I'd just uh, update you on uh, various things that uh, you need to perhaps uh, bear in mind. Because um, as we run up to Christmas, um, things get busy and deliveries sometimes don't come as quickly as we, we would hope. Uh, we always try and get goods out the same day, provided we can get the order from you by around about 2 o'clock. We should be able to get the goods out the same day. Um, the problem with deliveries is, although we try and um, send on a 24-hour delivery uh, for, for most items, uh, the delivery services themselves are under pressure, and so sometimes there is a uh, perhaps a delay of a day. Um, nothing we can do about it, um, but as uh, more and more people are shopping online, the inevitable happens. So what I'm saying to you is that we try and get the goods out the same day. Hopefully you'll get them the following day, but do bear in mind that there can be delays. Um, thanks for the support on this video channel, by the way. It's much appreciated. Uh, uh, keep uh, pressing the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed, because that gives us some idea that we're doing the right thing. And if you've got any ideas for videos, obviously let us know. and We'll try and uh, uh, meet the needs if we're able to. Um, there's all sorts of uh, subjects we could cover. And uh, I personally try and put a bit of um, technical information in because I think that's so uh, useful. Um, we will look at various products as and when, but I try and balance this channel so that it's not sort of a sell-sell, you know, buy from us, buy from us. This is the, this is the best uh, place to buy. Um, you make up your own mind, and we've got a reputation that we've built up over the last 50-plus years, and I think that speaks for itself. In the meantime, you enjoy Ham Red, you take care, and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.